Hi, this is Asing. Today I would like to share how to simplify this subtraction without a calculator. So what we have to do here is first we can let x equal to z3 plus z8 minus z3 minus z8. Then we square both sides. So we obtain z3 plus z8 minus Z3 minus Z8, the whole thing squared. So this is similar for us to have A minus B squared, which is equal to A squared minus 2AB plus B squared, which means that we're supposed to have square root square cancel each other. So we left only 3 plus Z3, Z8, then minus 2 times of AB. So A is 3 plus Z8, and B is z3 minus z8 then we plus b square square and square root cancel each other so left only 3 minus z8 so from here we can simplify 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 plus z8 minus z8 cancel each other no more so we have 2 z as we can see z multiplication of z by using the law of indices z a times z B is equivalent to Z A times B, which means that here we should have 3 plus Z8, 3 minus Z8. Apparently, this is the conjugates of each other, which means that we should have A minus B times A plus B, and then we obtain A square minus B square, which means that we should have equal to 6 minus 2 square root of 3 square is equal to 9 minus z8 square is equal to 8 which means that we have 6 minus 2 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 so z1 is equal to 1 and hence we should have 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 x square is equal to 4 which means that x is equal to z4 which is equal to 2 and hence with that as you can see we did not put plus minus in front of the z as you should because as we can see 3 plus z8 is definitely greater than 3 minus z8 so bigger minus smaller supposed to be positive so that's why we take only the positive part we ignore the negative part. So what we have to do, we already done here. So now we can check the answer using calculator. So we have Z3 plus Z8 minus, minus Z3 minus Z8. And hence we obtain two, which is exactly the same. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.